Point TV, where I share insights to help you discover, capture, and reveal your unique brand story. My name is Marisha, and I am your host of M Street TV, but today is the kickoff of our very special monthly episode called Backstage Pass, where I'm bringing you into the lives of those who help put this show together. Of course, I would not be able to do any of this without my glam squad. So we are going to take a look at the powder room where I share the expert advice of my makeup artists. But before we jump into the segments, I wanted to have you take a look at them right here. Curry, what's going on, girl? Hey, girl. Thank you for having <laughs> me on the show today. Thank you for being here, and thank you for always making me look fabulous. You know, I try my best. <laughs> I got to take her out of her element because just a side note, just between me and you, she like neutral colors, and we can't have that. <laughs> Not today, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today, I wanted to share some tips that you can use to be a little bit more versatile in your makeup and wardrobe artistry mm -hmm. because we're all doing a million and one things and it's super important for us to save time. Everybody is looking to save time, save money, and so I wanted this show to do a little bit of just that, helping people to save time. So we filmed earlier today mm -hmm. um, a couple different looks where you helped women to transition from their morning you know, work attire mm -hmm. into their, not attire, but their look, their makeup look. Uh -huh. um, and then they transitioned into some sort of evening mixer. And then you had another girl who did um, kind of a daytime look. And then you took her to a night out of town with yes. either her boo or her girls, right? Yes, Okay. Of course. So talk to us a little bit about the first look, which was um, a look, a beautiful blue dress, mm -hmm. um, good for both her work and for a social networking mixer after work. Tell okay. us about the look. Well, with uh, her look, I decided to go with a nice, uh, subtle gold look um, because she does work in an office space. Um, I definitely didn't want her to be too out there, but definitely still look uh, beautiful and presentable while she's at work. And, you know, she wanted to go out with her girls. Basically, all I did was smoke out the bottom rim of her eyelid, and it makes a huge difference. Um, she could have wore that to work all day, but if she just wanted that extra jazz, I just basically smoked out the bottom with a, a dark brown to bring out the complement of her eye. So tell us about some of the products that you used for that particular look. Um, for that particular look, I have uh, this one favorite palette that I got from Forever 21. Um, I use it for everything. I love it. Um, I basically use a dark brown in that particular palette to smoke it out with a uh, angled eyeliner brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Okay. And for the busy mom on the go or the professional woman on the go, mm -hmm. what are some must-haves that you have to have in your makeup kit? Um, that you have to have in your mom on the go? Uh, I would say definitely you have to have mascara because those times where you're going to be sleepy, you don't have enough sleep, or you got the bags under your eyes, um, you can definitely just put on a couple coats of, max, of mascara to open up your eyes. I would say definitely have a BB, key, uh, BB cream or a bronzer to so definitely even out your skin. And the best thing about BB cream is that um, it's not heavy, and it basically uh, melts into your skin as if you don't have anything on. You just have a smooth canvas. Definitely, I'm a lipstick junkie, so you definitely have to have some lipstick or some lip gloss. Um, lip balm is cool, but, I mean, lipstick ain't hurting nobody. <laughs> right, right. And um, that's pretty much it. You can get by with those three products. So your mascara to open up your eyes, mm -hmm. your bronzer, mm -hmm. and that does what again? Ooh. The bron no, like a... Um, I said a BB, BB cream. cream. Yeah, BB Which cream is, bronzer. It's like a light, um, it's like a tinted moisturizer. You hmm. can use it either for like sunscreen or a light layer 
of foundation, whichever one you prefer, but it just gives you this that kind of finish with not looking like you made up or that you took a ton of time on your makeup because it looks pretty much natural. Cool. And then you round it off with your, your pop lipstick. lipstick. And also, I forgot something. Definitely <laughs> keep a spoolie on deck to keep them eyebrows in place, okay? Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Don't let me get on eyebrows. Okay. Anyway. All right, so you also did another look, which was taking her from daytime to her night out on the town. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I decided to do, for her, um, I did a gold lid as well, but what I did was smoke out the creases with black and dark brown. Um, she had this, you know, badass red blazer on, and it looked like it also had some leopard print, so we definitely had to bring that out. So what I did was uh, counter quarter the angles of her eyelids because she had the perfect socket just to um, bring that dimension. So it gave it a kind of uh, cat eye. And I paired that with a red lip because she had on all black with a red and leopard blazer. So Yes, those lips were fire. Mm -hmm. And she <laughs> had that full lip, baby. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, they do have injections and stuff nowadays, so I guess. I mean, but you, you know, your lip does its job. Yeah, um, you know, yeah. I, I'm not hating. I'm not hating. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you being on the show. Definitely not just for this, but mm -hmm. also for every week that we're here mm -hmm. bringing it to the people. Yes. I appreciate you. you. That is a wrap for the powder room. Be sure to tune in every single last Thursday of the month mm -hmm. to see how we roll backstage. But before we get out of here, I want to know where can people find you? Because, of course, everybody needs their, their makeup artist. Yes. Um, you can find me on all social media platforms. And definitely, if you need help uh, with any makeup tutorials, definitely check out on YouTube and the Garfless.com. All right. There you have it. Stay tuned for more.